Okay, so everyone has been asking me. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people have asked what is in the country croc thing. And I'm going to show you. Da da! I had a summer boardwalk candle from Bath and Body Works and it busted on me. So I have been taking it apart and using it as a wax melt. Yep. That's what's in the country crop container. And still have all this left yet. And oh my gosh, it smells so good and it's so strong, but it really doesn't last very long, so yeah. So yeah, I come down here today to go rock picking, but there's people down that way camping and they had a bunch of dogs with them. Uh, the dogs came up and greeted me. They were so cute. There was like six of them, but I decided to come over to this little smaller spot, which really isn't, doesn't give you any access of, to the water unless you know you want to jump about six feet maybe maybe even a little more I know it didn't look like it from uh the video I just showed but it's a pretty good ways down and I don't feel like jumping into that so but yeah I, I've not been getting out and doing stuff like this because it's just been way too hot it's pretty hot today too but I was passing by and I was just like, you know, why not stop? But yeah. Oh, that's a nice breeze. I've just really, really, really been going through it lately. Uh, yesterday, my depression was so bad that I stayed in bed all day. I didn't, I didn't eat anything. Um, I just laid there, just laid there in the bed. And then I want to say it was about 11 o'clock at night and Rafe came and got me up and was going to make me a little something to eat. And then I started sweating prof 
profusely like it was just running down my face and my shirt was drenched. Um, then uh, I went and stood in front of the air conditioner and that's whenever my ears started to ring and my hearing started to go. And then my sight started tunneling. So she had me sit down and then she gave me my food and I got maybe two bites in and then I started puking and I didn't stop that for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. It was just nothing but water. Uh, so got me cleaned up and everything and then started taking me back to my bedroom and I practically, I passed out sort of like, I went down hard on my hip and my hip is still very sore from it. I couldn't lay on it last night. Uh, <clears throat> but it was like, as soon as I went down, I did, I hadn't lost consciousness. I didn't allow myself to, um, but I had a hard time getting back up. As soon as I stood back up, I felt that way again. But thankfully, we were, we were right there at my bedroom and uh, got me in bed before it happened again. Uh, I have syncope. Um, I don't know if you guys really know what that is, but it is. it has to do with your heart. And my heart tries to beat before filling back up um, with blood. So... They said that, the doctors said that, you know, they, they think that that's got some to do with it. Um, under an intense amount of stress, um, emotional tur turmoil, um, stuff like that, a lot of heat can trigger these things. And I hadn't had an episode in a while. Um, I had one in the shower I want to say about a year or so ago, but yeah, yesterday was just a very, very, very bad day, and then I ended the night with doing that, so, um, yeah, it was rough, and then today I went and had lunch with my dad. I hadn't seen him in, I want to say, almost two weeks. That was nice. We caught up, talked a lot. Um, it was funny though, cause my nephew uh, races at the drag strips and sometimes he'll race on regular roads and he's not supposed to, but he does. And my dad was talking about um, like at the drag strips, how fast he can go and I was like, I think the fastest I've ever drove was like 120 and it was on an interstate. And my dad goes, that's too fast. No, that's too fast. Don't be driving that fast again. And I was just like, my nephew does it, <laughs> but not me. <sighs> I don't know, I thought it was funny. I don't typically, ever drive that fast that was just that one time on the interstate whenever I was trying to get somewhere and there wasn't really any cars on it because it was like later at night I think but yeah it's just been really stressful a few months back my sister my oldest sister had a heart attack from stress um she was a caregiver for someone and they just they put her under a lot a lot a lot of stress and um that ended because they pulled a knife on her and yeah so she'd had a heart attack from that and then my other sister who is in a different state right now um lost her medicine and had to go without it and she was under a lot of stress too. Um, so 
she had a heart attack too while she was there and the hospital kept her for like a day or two and then let her go and I don't know, it's just really, really, really stressful. But the, there is good news. I go to do training for a few hours on Friday and Saturday at this job I'm going to be doing. And it's only going to be part-time um, for now. And only paying like $9 an hour. But... But it's a really it's a really easy job. It's a nice, relaxed, laid back job. And the dude I met there who interviewed me is a really cool dude and we have a whole lot in common. Uh and I just think it's gonna be a a better fit because I also got a um offer for a factory position. And it pays 14 an hour, but it's also going to be 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Monday through Saturday. And that's no kind of life at all. Like, I wouldn't be seeing anyone, you know. I'd be sleeping all day, working all night. When I come home, everybody will still be asleep. And then whenever I wake up, I'll have to leave to go to work again. And then I'll have that one day to try to recover and do chores and do errands and try to see a 50 billion different people um and youtube like i wouldn't have any time at all for this for youtube and it's um very hot in those factories and now that i went into a syncope episode last night i'm thinking that that's not the job that wouldn't be a safe job for me and a lot of other people told me that too um, my sisters my dad um hannah and rafe <coughs> their their mom like eric and ricky a whole bunch of people have just been like you know we want you to do what you want to do but we don't think that that job is going to be a safe job for you. And so I'm probably just going to try to do this, uh, this little part-time job and see how it goes. And keep trying to put out good YouTube content. I know my sister said that she would, um, do videos with me. I mean, I don't know exactly what kind of videos we do, but she said that she would help me do some videos. And um, Eric and Ricky said, you know, well, we can do gameplays with you, like uh, Mario Party or Mario Kart, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, that would be really fun. So, definitely thinking about doing those things for YouTube. Um... Definitely can't wait to be able to get out and do some more exploring. I can't really do a whole lot today because like I said, you know, there's campers on the other side of the creek and I don't want to disturb them or anything or look weird, you know, talking to my camera and walking around and looking at rocks and stuff, you know. So, and what's with people not being nice anymore? Like, I was at the gas station and there was this one dude and I was like, oh, hey, you know, sir, you can go ahead in front of me. And he gave me like this nasty look and just stepped in front of me. And he wasn't even kind to the guy at the register. And that was just really annoying because I'm just like, it costs nothing for you to be kind back. You know, I obviously look gay and the man behind the counter was um, Middle Eastern uh, something. Indian, maybe? I'm not sure. But he was a man of color. 
and I'm just like it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything to be nice to people who are different than you are but yeah I just wanted to sit down here for a minute and talk to you guys a little and show you the pretty creek and kind of just catch you up a little bit uh oh i since saturday i weighed 225 and today actually no last night i weighed 214 so that's like a, an 11 pound difference in just four days so but yeah i just wanted to get on here and tell you guys that